it is Wednesday night and we're talking about what makes muscles grow so everybody wants bigger muscles someone knows how to do it so muscles grow there's a couple things that come into place first of all there is mechanical stress which is basically tearing the fibers when you exercise next is metabolic damage which means it's the buildup of lactates and you know lactic acid and sort of these other things in the muscle and then thirdly it's what's called mechanical tension which is basically shortening and then lengthening of the muscle so those three things build muscle all right my great what i do with this information <clears throat> so there's a couple things to consider right so on the one side you have mechanical overload uh, pro yes and on the other hand you have tension so to make muscles grow, there's a few things you have to do. First of all, you gotta step away from those stupid exercise each muscle once a week plan. That's retarded, okay? So muscles recover within 36 hours. So there's no need to rest that long. You're not gonna be overtraining, okay? Overtraining happens if you train, you know, four hours a day or so, which most of us outside the gym, we don't do much. So the first thing you gotta do is you set up a plan where you basically say, okay, I'm gonna train each muscle at least twice a week. So assuming you have only two days of training a week, there would be two whole body workouts. If you have four days, you can do, you know, upper lower, upper lower, something like that, and so on and so forth. And the next thing you would do is you would have to set up a schedule where you get progressively stronger. There's progressive overload, okay? So you have to get stronger. But that comes with a caveat. So getting stronger is not the end-all and be-all answer to muscle growth. Because very often getting stronger just means using more inertia and momentum. So also getting stronger has limitations. It's probably not going to get any stronger anymore. So you have to break it down a little bit more scientifically. What really makes muscles grow is tension and time under tension. So in other words, if you're benching and you're bouncing the bar, then you achieve really nothing, okay? Whereas if you have a controlled motion where you bend it together and you warp it, you will actually get gains out of that. So getting stronger should really be titled like getting stronger in good form with a proper negative. So creating tension is probably the most crucial thing. So you have to keep tension on the muscle for about, give or take, 30 seconds per set. So that, first of all, it will kill momentum and it will be better on your joints so let's say you're curling right and you really instead of like doing this you control on the way up and on the way down racking up tension which will a make healthier joints and then b you will also get greater gains but probably the most important thing is that you have to train the whole strength curve so what does that mean so the strength curve goes kind of like this right the muscle has three you know, positions. So it can be stretched, it can be at mid-range, and it can be contracted. So the muscle is very weak at the bookends, which means the stretched and the contracted position. So we like to train the mid-range, because that's what we're good at. You know, think like barbell curls, bench, and so on and so forth. The problem with that is that, A, you're not maximizing your potential, you're setting yourself up for injury. So if you're not training the muscle at the bookends, it remains shortened and will not grow as much as it could. Whereas if you train the bookends, the entire curve gets lifted and everything gets better and you just get bigger overall, stronger for the matter. You also don't get that, that like, uh, you know, muscle bound look. So let's say if you're only training your chest in a mid range and you never work like, you know, in a, in a deep stretch situation, you will make, be more likely to be injured because of that constant strain you have on the front delta so on and so forth. So what does it mean to the strength curve? So you have different exercises for each muscle where you're hitting the contracted and the stretched phase. So let's say for the bench, that would be something like a cable fly would do really well in the stretch phase. And then you could do bench or dips or whatever. And then for the contracted, you could do the pack deck or so where you just go like that. And then let's say for the lats, you would be a puller would be stretched, lat pull down would be mid range. And then you could do something like a stiff arm pull down for the contracted, you know? Uh, biceps would be incline curl, regular curls, and then concentration curls. So to sum it up, yes, you have to get stronger, but that's not 
the only answer to creating more muscle. So getting stronger means you have to get stronger in good form, meaning no inertia. So you have to watch out that you keep time and attention, that's really critical, because that will get you out of injuries. And you have to train a strength curve at the book ends, not just in the middle. And you train each muscle at least twice a week. When you get all that together and you recover properly and you eat enough, you will make massive gains. Okay? With that, Mike out. Merry Christmas.